Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Bit Workshop. We're outside, we're going to do some roofing. Now, a friend of mine is having a new roof put on his rather large shed. And I'm going to help, <laughs> I probably do most of the work myself. And the bonus for me is that I get some of that roofing material. Because my log store, which is behind me, uh, has had this onduline uh, corrugated roofing on here for about 25 years. And it's about ready for replacement. Now, my friend is using a new product, or product certainly new to me, called Onduvilla, and it's made by Onduline. And basically, these are uh, sheets, or tile sheets, uh, which one lays just like ordinary tiles in an interlocking pattern. And I'm going to start here uh, with my lean-to, so I can show you uh, the key principles of laying this type of roof. Now, Onduvilla comes in a pack like this, and each pack has seven tiles within it and a pack like this will cover 2.17 square meters. The tiles come in four colors black, brown, red and green and they have a sort of dappled effect which rather, looks rather nice when you see it on a completed roof. Tiles themselves are just over a meter wide by 40 centimeters this way and they're three millimeters thick and each tile weighs 1.27 kilograms. Now your roof pitch for a boarded roof should be uh, no less than 10 degrees. If it's a battened roof uh, then it should be no less than 15 degrees. Now Andre Villa can be uh, cut uh, either with a craft knife like this and it's perfect for doing uh, the vertical cuts or you can use a saw and the saw is a better tool for doing the cuts going that way should they be required. Now Onduvilla just like uh, Onduline itself uh, can be fixed with either nails or screws. Now I prefer screws uh, because they're much easier to uh, adjust if you get them in in the wrong place. Now I'm going to show you the progress on my log store and my friend's shed at the same time. First we're going to remove all of the old material. Well that's it, it took just under three hours to remove all the old Onduline and we're now ready to start putting on the Onduvilla. Now the great advantage is, is that this roof has a plywood uh, cladding to it and it's got some damp roof membrane here. So it's going to be a piece of cake. Famous last words. Now in every pack of Onduvilla there's a very simple set of instructions and these are really easy to follow. Now the key thing at this stage for me is I've got to make sure I've got the right interval between the fixings. Now I'm just going to mark that up and I'll know then that I've got to move these two centre ones and put in two more uh, to fill in the gaps. Right, so all my supports are in the correct place uh, and I'm now ready to start laying the tiles and this really won't take very long. Uh, what I've done first is to lay some out uh, just carefully across the length uh, to see how many individual tiles I need to span the length. And by pure chance I need exactly five tiles to cover that length. But bear in mind when we start the next row we're going to start with uh, a cut tile just like tiles on your house uh, they overlap top to bottom uh, with a join in a different place otherwise you'd have a uh, water seeping through a series of joins that are in line. Now the wind is blowing from this direction blowing that way so therefore I'm going to start laying tiles from this end that means then that this tile will overlap it so any rain being driven will not go underneath a join it will go over the top and beyond. Now for my log store I've got an open roof. Purlins are used to support the roofing material. That's not quite as easy as a fully boarded roof. Now the great beauty of Andrew Villa is that provided you have a solid surface underneath you can walk 
on the flats between the ridges. That means you can get about the roof particularly, particularly easily. Now I've never worked with Andre Villa before, but I must say it is a very easy product to get on with. I really like the fact that it fits in the boot of a car. You can go and get just what you need when you need it. Right, we're now doing the verges. Start from the bottom, work upwards. Uh, the overlap is exactly the same as you would be using if you're doing the tiles. Now, when I put the verge pieces on the far end, uh, we had uh, the end of these tiles ending like this. So the verge piece went on there uh, with absolutely no problem. Uh, that stopped the rain from getting in under here and damaging the wood below. But along this edge, uh, the, the edge ends with a flat piece, not a ridge. So therefore, we've got to create an artificial ridge. So I'm going to use some bits of old batten which I'm going to screw along the edge here, underneath where the uh, Andre Villa goes, which will raise this edge, and that will stop the rainwater from getting in over that edge and down below. Now, these two bits of roof are not quite the same shape. They're very slightly out of square, but I don't want that to be too obvious to the eye. So I'm actually going to leave the capping pieces to the very end. I'm then going to put a line across so that I can get those running in a dead straight line because they'll be the first thing the eye sees. Well, I've got my line set up so I'm getting a nice clean eye line uh, for these ridge pieces. Absolutely perfect. And you know what? I've got third clean shirt, I've got my second clean pair of trousers, uh, my hat's been washed twice, but I've still got the same battery on this Festool PDC-18 of Link 4 drill. And it's done well over a thousand screws. Pretty good, eh? Well, that's it. Just two and a half days from start to finish, and I did it all on my own. I'm really pleased. Andre Villa is a very easy product to apply. The fact that this roof was solid under here made it particularly easy because you can walk on your finished roof at any point whenever you like. I think it's an excellent product. I really recommend it. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.